Hello, welcome back to episode number four of 12 Days of Skinvis. My name is Ashanti. I'm a licensed esthetician of eight years. And today I'm bringing a video to you about exfoliation, whether or not you need to physically exfoliate, whether chemical exfoliate is good for your skin type. And if you haven't watched the videos that I've recently dropped, make sure you go ahead and watch those videos. As well. Okay, so what is exfoliation and why do we need it? So exfoliation is removing all of the dead skin and all of the buildup from the top layer of our skin, which is called the epidermis. This is going to help the products that you'll add on penetrate deeper into the skin to make sure that your skin is receiving all of the nutrients, all of the hydration and the moisturization that it needs to uh, resist the free radicals, to resist uh, fine lines and wrinkles, anti-aging, hyperpigmentation. So exfoliating is a sure step in the skincare routine and it's very important to make sure that you do. But if you're not doing the proper type of exfoliation, then that can actually harm the skin. And so that's why we want to get into what type of exfoliation is best for your skin type. So for exfoliation, there are two main different types. You have chemical exfoliation and then you have physical exfoliation. So let's go ahead and jump into a chemical exfoliation, what that consists of and who it's good for. Chemical exfoliation is the removal of dead skin cells by using ingredients like AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs. So we'll go ahead and break those down in what the difference of the AHAs are, BHAs, and also PHAs. So AHAs consist of ingredients that, or acids rather, acids that are derivatives of fruit, acids that are derivatives of sugar, and also milk. So that would be like your glycolic acid, that is a sugarcane derivative, mandelic acid, that is a fruit derivative, it derives from apples, and then also lactic acid is your milk derivative. And next you have your beta hydroxy acids or BHAs. So the main beta hydroxy acid would be salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is also a derivative from willow bark. So if you are using your salicylic acid, this is really going to be good for um, oily skin to help clean out the pores. And then lastly, we have polyhydroxy acids. So polyhydroxy acids are going to be more gentle acids than the BHAs or the PHAs, and they do also still aid in exfoliation. So I'll go ahead ahead and break down what exactly each acids are good for, what skin type they're good for, and why you should use them. So your AHAs are going to be water soluble acids. This is going to be best for skin smoothing, for scarring, also anti-aging. So if you're dealing with fine lines, wrinkles, if you're dealing with textured skin, you'll want to lean over into your AHAs as a chemical exfoliant. have BHAs. BHAs are oil soluble. So this is going to work very well for oily skin or acne prone skin. This is going to help declog the skin, congested skin, as well as pore size. So with our pores, we know that they don't phys physically open and close, but if your skin is very congested, then your pores are going to seem larger than normal. And so the way that you would minimize your pores lessen your pore size is going to be by making sure that your pores stay clean and unclogged. And so that's why you want to use something like a BHA, a salicylic acid, because it has a very deep penetration due to the molecular size of the acid. So it can penetrate deep into the skin, deep into the pores to clear those pores out. And that's how it helps with pore reduction. We have our PHAs, which are really similar to AHAs, but they're a lot more gentle. So this is why it's recommended for sensitive or reactive skin types. This is going to help repair the skin barrier. This is going to aid in hydration and moisturization as well for the skin. With PHAs, for an example, it will be lactobionic acid as well as gluconolactone. Another great benefit of PHAs is if you live in a more warmer climate where 
where 95% of the time it's sunny outside, you can get away with using this as a exfoliate without feeling like you're going to receive any type of harm from the sun. So it's less harmful in the sun, it's less potent. Of course, you still need to make sure that you're using sunscreen, but it's not as sun sensitive as AHAs and definitely not as much as BHAs. That was a quick one too about the differences in chemical exfoliates. You have your AHAs, your BHAs, and your PHAs, and they all work with different skin types. So what is a physical exfoliation? Now, a physical exfoliation is pretty much in the name. This is where you're going to use a product, physical granules, or beads or even a facial brush this would be considered a physical exfoliation or even if you're using a rougher uh, washcloth or towel that also is going to aid in a physical exfoliation no physical exfoliation does kind of get a bad rep but there's a time and a place for everything i would definitely say if you're someone that's dealing with keratosis pilaris especially on the body that's where you want to use those physical exfoliations. And actually you can go and use them interchangeably where you're using both physical and chemical exfoliations for something like that when it's a specific um, condition on the body. And then as far as on the face, if it's something like, like I stated, a uh, towel or a facial brush, maybe once a week, that's not too bad to stay away from those physical exfoliates that have walnut seeds or really large beads. So as a professional, a medical esthetician, what my suggestion would be is to use a chemical exfoliate that works for your skin type. So if you have oily skin, you want to use salicylic acid. If you have um, normal to dry skin or anti-aging conditions, then you want to use AHAs. If you have very sensitive and reactive skin, even if you have oily sensitive skin, you want to use PHAs. Introduce those into your routine first as an oily sensitive skin person or an overall sensitive reactive skin before you go in with any type of BHA or AHA. It for today's video. Nice, short, and sweet. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If so, make sure you share it with a friend, like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure that you stay tuned for the next few days of 12 Days of Skin Mist. Again, my name is Ashanti, licensed esthetician, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, hey.